Because you can never have enough of an exponential question, here's another one, example six. So a number of elephants in a herd can be represented by that, where n is the number of elephants, and t is the time in years after 2003. So n, calculate the number of elephants in the herd at 2003. So 2003, that's t is zero. So n is 150 minus 80 e to the power of zero. e to the power of zero is one. I've got 150 minus 80. I've got 70 elephants. F elephants. B says the number of elephants in the herd in 2007. So 2007 will be for t is 4. So n, the number of elephants, is 150 minus 80 lots of e to the minus 4 over 40. Uh, completed pack says 77.6. So dead on, the start of 2007, there was 77.6. So we're going with 77 elephants. Oops, cars gone. Let's have a look at C. C says the year that the population will grow above um, 100. So we'll find T for N is 100. So I've got 100 is 150 minus 80 E to the minus T over 40. If I do a switch, take that over there and take 100 over, I've got 80 E to the minus T over 40 is equal to 50. So if I divide through by 80, I've got 5 eighths. Take logs of both sides, minus T over 40, log of 5 eighths, and then Multiply by minus 40. And I get... Uh, 18.8. Now here's something that's a bit cheeky because I misread it. 18.8 years, does it? So that would take us to 2021. At 18.8 years, which is 2021, that's dead on the border. So really you're looking at growing above 100. In 2022. Now then, I slightly misread the question. In the fact that said, when will it be above 100? So that would imply, because it doesn't say when it's equal to 100, does it? So that would imply that that should be greater than that. Greater. So the equation is greater than 100. So then that stays the same there. And that stays the same there. And that stays the same there, but when I multiply by minus 40, that switches, so it gives me greater than 18.8 years. I'm really sorry about that. It's a definite time I need to stop here because I'm so tired from the party. You see how many mistakes I'm making in class? Right then, so a long term prediction. Let's have a look at this equation then. So I've got n equals 150 minus 80 e to the minus t over 40. Whew. In terms of a graph, if we graph it, hang on, uh, let's be calculated then. This will take some faffing around to do. 
So what have I got? So I've got 150 minus 80E. the minus x over 40 so I don't think there was anything is it so I need I reckon let's look at uh, x minus 0 x max let's go for 20 minutes uh, y minus 0 but y max let's go one fifth, well, one sixth of x one. There. So you can't really tell much from that picture. If I make it a little bit longer, if I make it 200 years, there. You see that's going all the way up to the, to the 150. Now it'll start off, it'll start off at 70. So I've got a graph which starts off at 70 and it goes up to 150. Now the idea is that you know the E graph, so as T gets massive, tends towards infinity, E to the minus T over 40 will tend towards zero. So as that tends towards zero, Minus 80 times by it will also tend towards zero. And that will leave me just the 150 left over. There. Okay. It's a little bit messy, that one. Right. I'm going to go now at seven minutes. It's quarter to three. I'm going to go get my daughter. See you later. Bye-bye.